Hi, I am Lorenzo from Melisfera and today I want to guide you on a quick tour of our app. Okay, this is the general interface of Melisfera. We have a list of appearances here and five different spaces to play with. This is one of my apiaries with four hives and I see that the last thing I did here is applying oxalic acid in December. Those green dots are showing the hives, the hive fitness right now. They are doing all well and here are the hive names H1, H2, H3. We can also display the brood levels, which are 0% at the time of the year, that's normal. Weight, 21 kilos, 50 kilos, 33 kilos. And of course, the sensors that are installed into every hive with, yeah, here there's internal temperature and scale under the hive. Let's now explore a little bit more H3. Okay, you have another tier of internal humidity. This is the calendar of the events. And into the brood calendar, well, we see that it's 0% all around, which is normal. It's more nice to see during the season. And that's the productivity, which is showing the gain or the loss of net weight of the hive during the day with small variations at that period of the year. So now let's explore how this hive H3 performed over the year. I'm going to this interface here and here we see we have three different calendars, three different space. This one, the first one is about the hive data, the second one is about the events and notifications, and the third one is related to the weather. Uh, I like to take a long period of time, let's say one year. And this is what happened with H3. First of all, brood. So, okay, on January and until mid-February there was no brood, and then it started Going up, 30% in March, 40% in April, May, June, July, 90% the hive was producing honey, and then back again, down again, until, yeah, let's say, beginning of November, when the brood stopped. Let's see what happened with the events. We had some cold inner temperatures and some high humidities in that period of the year. Oh, this one was overheated and it was followed by two swarms on April. Ah, here there's an increase of three kilos of stock, which is yeah, particular. And here we have a honeydew. More than 15 kilos the last week. Oh, let's look at that. You can shift to the productivity. And, ah, yeah. 6.9 kilos that day. Uh, pretty sure they were robbing some neighbor hive. And this one is about the, this honeydew that week. This is where I, where I produce honey. Two kilos, 2.5, yeah, nice. And we see that at the end of the season, in August, there was some overheating, did an inspection here, so the queen. And in November, we had some Lots of internal humidity alerts. Wow, this is quite normal. It was raining quite a lot that time. Maybe you can give it a look at how was the rain on the period of the year. Yeah, rainy. 
Maybe we can change that. We'll go to alert. And this is the high for alerts, internal humidity, and I will move it to 95%. Okay, now that we are done setting this alert, we will go back again to explore. And what I would like to do is compare different hives, how they perform. So this is H3 with the brood. The brood that in May started to go up to 80%. This is the production zone. This is where you're producing honey. Uh, and I would like to overlay it with H2. And they have nearly the same trend. Very interesting. And with H1. Okay, H1 was delayed with respect to the other ones, but ended the same way. Uh, okay, the explanation is simple. This is H1 was a division of the year, so it's a hive that started during spring. Well, it looks like this apiary made a good job the last season, and moreover is doing quite well at that time of the year. I hope you enjoyed this quick tour. And remember, if you are a Broodminder user, you can already play with your own data at buzz.melisfera.com.